Good day, Tinkercad friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another lesson for you. I created a sweet skyscraper tutorial. Been using it for a while. I watched it all day today with my kids, and I came up with an idea that may make it even cooler. So now you've got two options. Why don't you check this one out, see if you like it better. Alrighty, friends, start by bringing out a box. Click one corner and change its measurements to 40. Click the other side and make it 40. Make the height 80. And then pick a different color just because it's cool. We are going to add a bunch of windows to this cool skyscraper. Start by bringing out a box. Click its corners. And we want it to be 10 by 10 by 10 for starters. But then I'm going to make a modification once you see why. So there's my 10 by 10 by 10. And that's going to make a nice window. But watch this trick. Select them both by grabbing something that touches them. Click a line. Go left side front corner. All right. But I want windows to poke all the way through. So I want you to grab the little black handle and stretch it so it's 40 in that direction. Right now we need to switch our grid from one millimeter to five whole millimeters. Don't do 0.5, do five millimeters. And we want to move one click to the right. And then we want to go one click up. But to do that, we got to change the work plane by hitting work plane and clicking the wall. And then the up arrow moves it up. Now I want you to do control D, which is duplicate. Go up three times, which will be 15 millimeters. Don't touch anything else and just hit control D to make all five of your cool windows. Press W to shut off the work plane and check it out. We have just made 10 window holes. Click on the blue building and hide it. Grab our windows, group them, do control D to duplicate them, move it four clicks to the right, use the show all button to bring back our amazing building. Hide your building again with the cool little hide button. We want to grab all these and duplicate them again. Let's use the duplicate button this time and simply rotate it. 90 degrees. Notice I'm going to the big lines, not the long lines. Kind of looks like a funny Jenga board. If we show all, our building comes back. Let's grab everything and group it. And boom, we will have a nifty cutout building. Let's make it a tiny bit more amazing by cutting out the insides. Grab one more box and remember how we went 40 by 40? Let's go 36 by 36. And instead of 80 high, let's only go 75 high. Let's grab our two buildings and choose a line. And we want them centered left and right, centered forward and back. Once you've got them aligned, click somewhere else on the screen, grab both, and let's group to see our new building. Let's add one more nifty piece to the top. Let's use that work plane, which is the W key, or click that button. Let's bring another box out, and let's change its corners to 36 by 36. Let's select everything, do the align, and we want it centered on the sides and centered on the middle. And then I want to push it down in four millimeters but I'm going to push it in a wackadoodle amount. See how it says negative 15? And then I'm going to type negative 4 so it goes exactly where I want. I'm going to grab everything by making a box that touches them both. And when I group them, I now have a beautiful cutout roof for my sweet little skyscraper. Once you've built one of these, you can duplicate them shrink them, scale them, and just have a ton of fun with your nifty little building. You can make it any shape you want. It's totally fun to make them awesome, add more doors, and just explore the cool things you can do with these skyscrapers and your new skills where you use the different snap to grid, the align tool, 
and the ability to rotate and duplicate. I'm going to rename mine Skyscraper with my initials. You can name yours whatever you want, but that way you won't lose it. Thanks for watching, friends. If you like this movie and found it useful, please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech, click that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, friends.